Hello learners. In this video, we are going to discuss about the most important questions in data science interview. So if you have attended any of the data science or analytics based interviews, you could have faced this question like what is standardization? What is normalization? What is the difference between standardization and normalization? And when to use what? So to get answer for this question, please look into this video without skipping any part of the video. So let me introduce myself. I'm Premalata here. So now let's go into the concepts. So to understand what is standardization and normalization, first let's see what is feature scaling. Feature scaling is nothing but a method which is used to normalize the range of independent variables. So when I say independent variables, you can see some variables or features like age, salary, and height. So if you look at these columns or attributes now, you can notice two things. One is a number and another one you can see the unit like years and also INR and also centimeter, right? So 18 is 60 is nothing but magnitude and years is the unit. INR is the unit, 25,000 to 1,50,000 is the exactly magnitude. And the next one is like a height. And here you can see 130 to 185 is nothing but magnitude and centimeter is the unit, right? I hope it is clear now. So why is scaling very important, right? So sometimes we may be working on uh, some distance-based algorithms like uh, KNN or K-means or hierarchical clustering algorithm or some of uh, uh, deep learning algorithms like a neural network based problems. There, it is very important to do scaling techniques. So what is scaling? I told you, right? So normalizing the values. Why do we, why it is actually required, right? So if you see this age, income, you can see the magnitude is completely changing, right? So this is 22 and this is 20,000. So in such case, what may happen is the model may be biased towards the attribute which is having the highest magnitude. So to avoid that in distance-based algorithms or in some of the algorithms, we will be doing the scaling techniques. So when I say scaling techniques, the first important interview question is like, what is normalization? What is standardization? Let us first try to understand what is normalization. So normalization is a scaling technique in which we will rescale the values between zero to one. So how do we do the rescaling? You can see the formula now, x minus x minimum divided by x max minus x minimum. So we will understand this practically also and also I will be showing you the result manually too. The next one, what is standardization? So standardization is a scaling technique. Here, after doing the standardization, after this transformation, the values will be centered around zero mean and unit standard deviation, which is nothing but standard deviation will be equal to one, which is also like variance is equal to one. So if you look at the formula, Z is equal to X minus mu divided by sigma, right? So let us now see this in a practical way. As we have seen, this is the formula for normalization, right? So x mu is equal to x minus minimum value of x divided by maximum value of x minus minimum value of x. So for this, I'm going to import a data set, right? So let me import pandas as pd. Now, let me load the data set. df equal to pd dot read underscore. My data set is of Excel, right? So, let me write read underscore Excel. Uh, the data set name is, I think, this one. So, let me select that. Let me run the code. 
df dot head. Let me show you how my data set is looking like. So you can see age column and income column, right? So let's take the age column now. So look at the formula x minus x minimum, right? So let me take first x, right? So what I'm going to do now, x is nothing but, so I'm going to consider only the age column now, right? So let me first explain with age column. So x is equal to df age. So if you want to check it out, let me write this. You can see this is x, right? So then if you see minimum value of x, right? So let me write min is equal to x dot min, right? So what should be the answer? If you see, it should be 22, right? 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So what is the minimum value of x? That should be 22. So let me uh, let me run it now. Just because I have written x, it is displaying x. So I want to show the minimum value of x. So now you can see that the minimum value is 22. Now you can see the maximum value of x. So what should I write now? Uh, say max is equal to x dot max. And then let me write max. So you can see that the maximum value is 26 now. Right? So now let's do this. x new is equal to. So let me write x new is equal to. What is the formula? x minus x min. So already I have written x, right? So let me write uh, x minus x min. I have written it like a min, right? So let me write min divided by, let's look into the formula, x max minus x min, right? So I have written it like a max minus min, right? So let's see, let me run the code now. So let me show you the output. I I will show you that. So you can see like 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and 1. So let me show something randomly. So let me uh, let me show you this one, right? The second observation, if you see, you can see like this is 24, right? So what is the formula? X minus X mu, X min, right? So let me write X is nothing but say, for example, I'm going to do this. 24 minus, what is the minimum value of x? 22 divided by maximum value is 26 minus and then minimum, right? So 22. So if you calculate this, you will be getting it like 2 divided by 4, which is nothing but 0.5. Let's see. Yes, we got it like 0.5, right? So just here, I have just showed it manually, right? So let us now do it with the help of sklearn now. So how can we do that? From sklearn dot preprocessing import say min max scalar, right? So now let me name it as say a model underscore one, which is equal to min max scalar. Right. So let me fit it now. So model underscore one dot fit underscore transform. Let me show it for the entire data frame. Right. So let me run it now. You can see the output, the same output we are getting 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and 1. So I hope this point is very clear. Right. So we have done it manually. The same thing I have done with the help of sklearn using this minmax scalar. I hope it is clear to everyone. Shall we now proceed with the standardization? Yes. So what is the formula for standardization? Z is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. So already we have taken this x, right? So let's find out the mean now, right? So what I have to do now, uh, say, for example, let me write like mean is equal to, and this is mu, right? So I'm just going to do only for age column, which I have saved it as x here, right? So let me write x dot mean. 
So if I find out the mean, what I'll be getting? Yes, it is actually 24. So also, according to the formula, I have to find out standard deviation. So STD is equal to x dot STD. So the standard deviation, I'm getting it like 1.58, right? So let us now calculate it ma manually. So Z is equal to X, right? So X minus me divided by STD, right? So let me see the output now. You can see that minus 1.26 minus 0 0.63, right? So this is what we can see. Now here you can see that in the normalization, the values would be ranging between uh, 0 to 1. You can see that, right? In normalization, the values would be ranging between 0 to 1. But here you can see that we will be getting positive and negative values over here. Fine. So let us do with the help of the package now from sklearn dot preprocessing import standard scalar. So let me name it like a model underscore two. Fit underscore transform. So I'm going to do all this data fit. Right? Let me show the result now. Can you see for the H column and also the other column, right? So now if you see that minus 1.414, 0 0.707 and 0. So can you see small change over here? Uh, like when we did it manually and when we do the same with the standard scalar, the concept, the formula is the same. But why we get a, a minute changes over here I can say that when we use uh, a scalar, it would be actually using population standard deviation, right? But in case when we use uh, pandas, it would be using sample standard deviation, right? So that is the reason we are getting small change. Other than that, like the values would be actually closer to each other only. So I hope you can understand now how to write uh, uh, in Python using a scalar or pandas, how to uh, do uh, standard scalar or standardization and also normalization, right? So let us now try to answer the third question, when to use what? So in normalization, we have seen that values are lying between 0 and 1. In standardization, we have seen like a mean is 0 and variance is equal to 1. If you want, I can show that part also for you. Say we have seen this one, right? So if you want to find out the, uh, let me show you the mean too, right? So this is uh, Z, right? So let me show you that. Right, you can see that the value is actually close to zero, right? So let me show you the stand, standard, devi standard deviation also. So you can see that the value is actually 1. I hope this is clear, right? So in case if you want me to do for uh, this part also, I can actually show you that, right? So dot mean, you can see that the mean is exactly 0, right? So that's the difference. I hope now you can get it. Yes, so the standard deviation is equal to 1, right? So let us now go back to the slide now. Right. So we can also see that uh, it is affected by outliers in normalization, but it has been less affected by outliers in standardization. Normalization, it is useful when we are not aware of the distribution, but standardization, it is useful when the distribution is Gaussian. Now the next question. Uh, let me make it very clear when to use standardization and when to use normalization. 
So like uh, there is still more confusion here when to use what, right? So whenever we are working with any of neural networks, artificial neural networks or convolutional neural networks, it is always better to go ahead with the min-max scalar, which is nothing but normalization. But in, in all the other cases like uh, KNN or any distance-based algorithms like KNs or hierarchical clustering, it is always better to go ahead with this standardization method. Again, there is uh, no such proof that which one would be uh, better. But in the interview, you can answer this way. Uh, like neural network based problems, we can go ahead with the normalization techniques. In other cases, it is better to go ahead with standardization, but nothing wrong to use standardization or normalization. If you want, you can just try and see like which one is working better. So I hope the concept is very clear to you. In case if you have any questions, uh, you can actually put it in the chat window. I'll be answering your questions. Thank you.